Hi, Doshin. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm, I'm doing very well. Thank you very much. Uh, we were you were doing idioms uh, yeah. in, in this video and we had done till uh, comparisons, comparisons where you had explained us that if it's compa compared to then you are comparing to, to the similar things and, and if you are comparing with so let me just write it down compare to is for two dissimilar things and compare with is for similar things right so we are going ahead with the uh, and we continue doing the idiom list perfect <coughs> now it's the list where we have two idioms okay so that means we have two um, uh, prepositions there so you have two prepositions <coughs> Yeah, uh, we say not being used. Yeah. Something like not only but also. Right. So it always comes this way. Not only X but also Y. A lot of a lot of students make mistake here because I've seen a lot of people write she is not only beautiful but is very smart also. Yeah. And and is that correct? Yeah, we can write it that way. Is very smart also. It uh, you can use something in between, but both the construction need to be in the parallel form. Right? Okay. So she is not only beautiful but, but also smart or, or let's just say she is not only beautiful but is smart so then she yeah but is smart but is also smart so but is smart would be wrong yeah, but is but also, also or but also is smart okay so this can be used yeah together as well as there can be a gap in it or an of, of something and that's can be used right. again yes okay Perfect. so you have to say what is the construction of the first uh, part that is what is the construction of the first not only. Yes. So if after not only, so we always use it not only x but also y. So not only x but also y need to be in the parallel form. Not so if here we say x, x is beautiful, so y has to be smart. Y. Yes. So, yes. so if exactly. I say beautiful, it is an adjective, smart is so an adjective. Beautiful is an adjective, smart is an adjective. But if, be, right? but if, if I use she not only is beautiful but also is smart. So in that case, my x is verb and y is also verb. Yes. So whatever is x, it has to be let me just parallel to. She is no, she not only is beautiful. Let me just cancel this again. She not only is beautiful, but also is smart. But also is smart. So in this case, my x is a verb and y is a verb. So this becomes a verb. Yeah. Earlier this was an adjective. This becomes a verb too, which was an adjective. Right. Perfect. So, can you go a little ahead? Yeah, sure. So with either or. Right. So, similar case with uh, either or. Yeah. Either X or Y. I mm -hmm. must have either chocolate ice cream or carrot cake to complete. Perfect. Understood. Or great meal. Yeah. Right. So, similarly with neither nor. Yeah. So, here. So, there again, are no rules. They are just parallel have to because chocolate ice cream and yeah. carrot cake are, um, are nouns and it's, it's a parallel it shape. Always has to be now. It always has to be now. Yeah. Need, uh, un, uh, parallel, not necessarily yeah, now, but parallel. Joseph could neither leave the house nor use the telephone. Neither X nor Y. Neither X nor Y. Again, so leave is a verb, verb use and is use is a verb. verb. It's parallel. <coughs> now both goes with and. Mm -hmm. So if you see in the first part, there is neither always look for nor. If mm -hmm. you see either, always look for or. or. If there is not only look for but also, if there is no but also, that means sentence is wrong. Yeah, okay. understood. Similarly, with both. Always look for I. Yes. Yeah. If there is both as well as, that's wrong. Yeah. Both as well as is wrong, which is a very common, I think, error yes. they give. As well as is wrong. So this is very important. Kindly make note of this. Yeah. Both does not go with as well it as. Only goes with and. Both and and will go. Perfect. Yeah. So we say when given the choice, I choose both ice cream and, and cake. cake. We don't say I choose both ice cream and cake also. Yes. That's also wrong. Right, so so let me let me just put the both again mm -hmm. uh, on a sheet of paper. So you're saying with both only use and something like give me give me an example, Nashin. I choose both ice cream and carrot cake. I choose both ice cream and carrot cake. So this is the right sentence. We cannot say I choose both ice cream as well as carrot cake. So let's take this. I choose both ice cream as well as carrot cake. Yeah. This is wrong. Yes. And I choose both ice cream I and carrot cake both also. Ice cream and carrot cake 
Also. This is also an option. Absolutely. Option. So please make sure both We'll go with and, yeah. and it has to be parallel as well. So we'll go back. Then we have more than and less than. So more than, less than. So chimpanzee is more in intelligent in than orangutan, or you can say orangutan is less intelligent than the chimpanzee. Chimpanzee is more intelligent than orangutan, or yeah. So when you see more, different. look for than. When you see less, look for than. So so another tip: more than, less than. Yeah. Let's go ahead. Yeah, sure. Let's go to the next slide, which is as versus as like. As versus like, very important. All right. So we use as when we compare an action. As for comparing actions. That means if you compare in verbs, yeah. you always use as. Comparing actions. And we use like when we compare in nouns. Like for nouns. So he did not vote for the Democratic Party as I did. I cannot say like I did. Right. Because like is I'm here comparing actions. I remember my middle school teacher once said that. Remember because A has an A and A action has an, an action. A. Yeah, you can so remember this. So just remember that as will always go with actions. actions. That's right. So something which yeah, I can mm -hmm. thank my middle school teacher right. for. Her dress is like mine. Mm -hmm. So we're comparing here the nouns. Yeah. Her dress with Her my dress. dress. Yes. So we can use like. Absolutely. So again, as is for actions. Like is for nouns. You know, you see some sentences where they say just like her dress is just like mine. So that just is just a redundancy there. Her dress, her dress is just like mine. So among five answer choices, you see uh, sentences like her dress is like mine, her dress is as mine. So always go with if you have to compare, choose between just like and like. Go with like because yeah, just, just just like is redundancy. redundancy. So this is redundant. Again, a very good tip from the master Gmat uh, tutor. Okay, so as goes with action, like goes with nouns. Let's go ahead with like and such as. Yeah. Another very important. Yes, and Gmat is very biased with the such as thing here. Yeah. So always, whenever you have to mm, say, for example, you say such as. You yes. don't say like. Yeah. Because like means similar to. Yes. So we say the mule like the donkey. Is similar uh, is a close relative of the horse. Right. So what we mean to say is the mule, which is similar to donkey. Yes. Right. So we don't say as donkey. The mule as Absolutely. donkey. Absolutely. And when the, we go to second uh, sentence, it says many of my favorite ice cream flavors, such as chocolate chip and strawberry, are also available in frozen yogurt. True. So we cannot say like chocolate chip and so GMAT tests you on this. So what you're saying is, as is all we call is comparing actions. Like is comparing nouns. Yes. Like would also mean similar, similar to. to. So if you have a mule like the donkey, that's that's a similar, similar to kind to. of thing. Yeah. Such as is only for examples. Right. And no other, such as. No. It's only, only for only example. For examples. So please do not confuse yourself. Such as only for examples. If ever you forget, just remember the slide. Yes. And I hope it will be absolutely yes. fine. We go to the next slide? Yes. Perfect. 